India's semiconductor industry is poised for significant growth fueled by government's strong push through incentives under the Semicon India program. This momentum is also driven by rising demand for AI, 5G, EVs and the Internet of Things. The demand for semiconductors in India's domestic market itself is estimated to be around 40 billion US dollars annually and this figure is projected to reach 100 billion US dollars by 2030. Let us now examine the major semiconductor stocks in India and the roles these companies play in the broader semiconductor ecosystem. Many of these firms are engaged in chip design, some are building or operating assembly and testing that is ATMP or OSAT units and a couple of them are planning to set up India's first commercial fabrication units marking a critical step towards domestic chip manufacturing. The first stock in this list is Bharat Electronics Limited or BEL which has a market capitalization of around 2 lakh crores. BEL manufactures high-tech electronic products used by Indian Armed Forces. They design and manufacture advanced electronic systems including semiconductor based solutions for defense applications such as radar, night vision systems, missile systems and electronic warfare. BEL has also diversified into non-defense areas producing EVMs or the electronic voting machines for the election commission. They are also manufacturing traffic control systems, solar power devices and homeland security products. While BEL is not a chip maker, it is a major consumer and integrator of semiconductor components. It lies downstream in the semiconductor value chain, converting chips into complex defense systems. Thus, BEL is part of the applied semiconductor ecosystem, even if not directly involved in silicon design or fabrication. Although BEL is closer to the electronics and EMS space rather than the core semiconductor manufacturing sector, it plays a key role in India's self-reliance efforts in defense technology. It is helping to reduce dependency on foreign semiconductor components. It partners with DRDO and Indian startups for ASIC development and custom chip solutions for defense applications. BL also performs board level design and system level integration which includes sourcing semiconductors, designing custom electronics and developing embedded software. Its end products are heavily dependent on advanced semiconductors. The second stock is HCL Technologies with a market cap of around 3.8 lakh crores. HCL Tech is a leading global IT services company ranked among the top 5 Indian IT firms by revenue. It plays a critical support role in the semiconductor industry by offering engineering services that assist global chip makers like Intel, Qualcomm and AMD in testing, designing and optimizing chips. HCL Tech partners with leading semiconductor firms to assist across the entire chip development life cycle from internal logic design and verification simulations used to catch defects before fabrication to power optimization and physical layout design that ensures the chips are fast, power efficient and reliable. They also conduct post silicon validation to confirm functionality after production. HCL also developed low level software such as firmware and drivers enabling chips to interact with cars, smartphones, routers and other devices. To perform some of these functions, HCL Tech uses EDA that is Electronic Design Automation Tools from Synopsys, Cadence and other industry standard vendors. In essence, HCL Technologies acts as a behind the scenes technology partner helping global chip makers refine and finalize their chip designs. So while HCL Tech does not manufacture chips or develop its own chip IP, it plays a significant role in fast growing segments like AI chips, 5G, automotive electronics and edge computing. The next player is Tata Alexi Limited with a market cap of around 30,000 crores. Tata Alexi is one of the world's leading providers of design and technology services serving industries such as automotive, media, communications, telecom and healthcare. It's a Tata Group company that plays a vital role in how semiconductor chips are applied in real world systems. 
Though it does not manufacture chips, it collaborates with chip design companies like NVIDIA and Qualcomm to assist with chip design verification, physical design and layout checks, and system level integration and testing. They support companies in what is known as RTL phase or the register transfer level design and verification phase where the digital behavior of a chip is defined using languages such as Verilog or VHDL. RTL describes how data moves through the digital circuits in a chip and it represents the chip's core logic at a level even below the firmware. So RTL is the core functionality of a chip. It sits below the firmware and the software which is built on top of it. Tata Alexi helps ensure that this RTL logic is functionally correct before fabrication. It does this through processes like RTL verification and DFT or design for test, which is where the additional circuits are added to test the chip post manufacturing. They also focus on power optimization, a critical need for chips in the EVs and mobile devices. In addition to RTL level work, Rata LXE also supports physical design, which involves converting digital logic into transistor layouts, the final blueprint used by foundries to fabricate the chips. This service is crucial in taking the brain logic of a chip and turning it into a physical silicon. Although Tata Alexi does not invent or sell its own chips, which is what uh, companies like Nvidia, Qualcomm, AMD and Intel do, Tata Alexi plays a key role in enabling and accelerating chip development for these global giants. Tata Alexi has expertise in validating semiconductor solutions for advanced driver assistance systems or ADAS, for digital cockpits, EV controllers and more. They also provide firmware and driver development, allowing chips to interface with operating systems and hardware platforms. These low-level programs, often written in C, are especially important in electric vehicles, infotainment systems and connected devices. In short, it acts as a specialist in the application of semiconductors in complex safety-critical products. The company combines chip-level validation and device-level integration particularly in regulated industries such as automotive, medical devices and telecom infrastructure. If you have been with me so far, you may be interested in our flagship course on one of the sunrise sectors, which is semiconductors. When some of us hear the word semiconductors, we think too technical, not for me. But smart investors know this. Semiconductors are the new oil. From smartphones to AI, EVs to defense, cloud computing to modern healthcare, chips power everything today. Global investors who spotted this early made serious wealth from companies like NVIDIA, TSMC, MediaTek, Qualcomm, SK Hynix, Samsung and Applied Materials. These are big names now and have turned into multi-baggers over the last decade or so. Now here is the exciting part. India is entering this game right now. Government has a massive outlay of 10 billion US dollars for Semicon India program. That's easily the highest incentive announced for any sector here in India. Big players like the Tatas, Adanis, Vedanta, HCL and some smaller ones too like CG Power, Keynes, Dixon are all eyeing this opportunity. They are setting up chip manufacturing, packaging and design hubs. So we spent nearly two months researching and breaking down this complex industry and then built this course that explains it all simply and clearly from an investor's angle. You learn how the chip manufacturing, packaging and design industry works, where India fits in, which Indian and global stocks are worth tracking and how to avoid the hype, manage the risks and spot the real opportunity in this sector. Check the link to our course on semiconductors in the description or in the pinned comment below. Thank you. Another stock worth keeping an eye on is Vedanta Limited, which has a market cap of around 1.56 lakh crores. Vedanta is a diversified conglomerate with a strong presence in mining and metals production. And it is now venturing into semiconductor space through its subsidiaries. Vedanta plans to set up semiconductor fabrication plant in Dholera, Gujarat with a focus on 28 nanometer and higher node chips. 
the proposed fab will have a capacity to process around 40,000 wafers per month. It aims to produce chips for consumer electronics, telecom and automotive applications. Initially, Vedanta had partnered with Foxconn but the deal fell through and Foxconn exited the joint venture and Vedanta is currently looking for new technology partners. In addition to the chip fab, Vedanta also plans to establish a display fabrication unit to manufacture TFT LCD and AMOLED display panels used in TVs, smartphones, tablets and other devices. This move is aimed at reducing India's dependence on imports from South Korea, China and Taiwan. For now, the semiconductor and display fab projects remain in the proposal and planning stage. They are awaiting finalization of partnerships and approvals. If successful, Vedanta could emerge as one of the first Indian firms to own both semiconductor and display fabs, supported by, of course, the government subsidies and global technical collaborations. The next interesting stock on our list is ASM Technologies Limited with a market cap of around 1600 crores. Like several other Indian players, ASM also provides VLSI design services including functional verification and validation to ensure that chips behave as intended before fabrication. They also help chip makers by assembling ready to use functional IP blocks which are similar to Lego pieces and which speed up the design of complex chip subsystems and platforms. The functional IP blocks, similar to Lego pieces, are reusable blocks which reduce time, cost and effort involved in full chip design. What makes ASM technologies particularly interesting though is their involvement in semiconductor equipment design, a niche space where very few Indian companies, if any, operate. ASM helps design and build subsystems and high precision components used in manufacturing tools within the fabs. These tools include systems for etching, deposition, heating, polishing and other processes critical to wafer level chip fabrication. One of their major clients is believed to be Applied Materials from US, a global leader in semiconductor equipment used in the fabrication units. ASM contributes to building essential parts of these multi-million dollar machines such as vacuum chambers, motion systems, gas flow systems, heat exchangers and custom mechanical assemblies. According to their website, ASM Technologies has over 2000 years of combined experience in this domain which indicates they have deep partnerships and long-term projects with top-tier equipment makers like applied materials. Unlike most Indian players that are focused on chip design services, ASM Technologies brings rare and valuable expertise in semiconductor fabrication equipment space. Their long-standing role in this space makes ASM a unique and compelling stock in India's growing semiconductor ecosystem. The next stock is Moss Chip Technologies Limited based in Hyderabad with a market cap of around 3,200 crores as of this recording. Moschip is a fabless semiconductor company primarily involved in ASIC design which, is, which means it is specializing in application specific chips tailored to specific use cases. They are also engaged in SOC or system on chip development and they claim to have worked on advanced process nodes as well. Moschip serves sectors such as aerospace and defense, consumer electronics, automotive, medical devices and networking and communications. This 25-year-old company employs over 1,400 engineers and has a strong presence in both India and United States. Another major stock in this space is the familiar Keynes Technology India Limited with a market cap of around 36,000 crores. Primarily known as an EMS or Electronics Manufacturing Services Provider, Keynes is now entering the semiconductor space by setting up a 3,300 crore OSAT facility in Sanand, Gujarat. This facility will serve sectors such as automotive, aerospace and consumer electronics. This project from Keynes received government approval in September 2024 and construction has already begun. Com completion is expected by the fourth quarter of fiscal year 2026 making Keynes one of the 
very few Indian EMS companies venturing into semiconductor packaging and testing. Another major player entering the semiconductor space is Dixon Technologies, which is like Keynes is a EMS provider. Dixon recently announced plans to set up a display fabrication unit in India with a proposed investment of 3 billion US dollars. The goal is to localize display panel manufacturing to enhance supply chain control and to reduce reliance on imports. Dixon is currently in talks with an yet to be disclosed global technology partner for this venture. Of course, company aims to benefit from the Semicon India program which could provide up to 50% in subsidies for display fabs. The planned facility could serve applications across TVs, mobile phones, notebooks, tablets and automotive displays. Given Dixon's strong presence in smartphone, TV and notebook assembly, this move will help localize key display components which are currently being imported from South Korea, China and Taiwan. These are the countries known for their advanced display technologies. Another important stock in this space is CG Power and Industrial Solutions. With a market cap of around 94,000 crores, CG Power is setting up an OSAT or outsource a semiconductor assembly and test facility in Sanand, Gujarat through a joint venture with Renaissance Electronics from Japan and Stars Microelectronics from Thailand. This facility will focus on packaging and testing semiconductor chips for automotive, power management and industrial applications. The total investment is expected to be around 7,600 crores with a planned capacity of up to 15 million chips packaged per day. This will position CG Power as a significant player in India's growing semiconductor assembly ecosystem. Another stock worth mentioning is SPEL Semiconductor Limited. This company holds a special place in India's semiconductor story. It is India's first and until recently only operational OSAT facility. Established in 1984 in Chennai, SPEL has been a pioneer in semiconductor packaging and testing services for nearly four decades now. While a new wave of OSAT players is just beginning to enter the Indian market, some becoming operational recently, SPEL has been providing turnkey chip assembly and testing services for almost 40 years now. Their services include wafer sorting as well as packaging and a wide range of testing services. Just in case you are wondering what wafer sorting is, it is a process by which a silicon wafer coming from a fab is probed for defective chips. And these defective chips are marked for discarding even before they go into subsequent steps like packaging or testing. Services provided by SPEL include electrical testing, reliability testing, failure analysis and even drop shipment services where fully tested and packaged chips are directly shipped to the customer's clients. SPEL solutions cater to industries such as consumer electronics, computing, automotive and industrial applications. Over the years, it has served more than 50 clients across the US, Asia and Europe, many of whom are among the world's leading chip makers and design firms. The company is now exploring opportunities to expand its facilities and is working on strategies to adopt new packaging and assembly technologies to meet the evolving needs of its current global customers. SPL Semiconductor currently has a market cap of around 610 crores with approximately 99% of its revenue coming from overseas clients. So these are the major Indian companies listed on the BSC and NSC that are involved in semiconductor chip design as well as those entering into the packaging and testing space.